Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add an order tracking page on your Shopify store. So step by step exactly how to implement and add that order tracking page so your customers can enter in their tracking codes right on your own website and have just an easy and seamless experience for tracking their orders from your Shopify store. So that's going to be diving into here in today's video and you will not need to download or install any other third party apps. This is a completely free way to add order tracking to your Shopify store. So I just want to make that clear as well. It's completely free and you don't have to install any other third-party apps to your Shopify store. So that's going to be showing you here in today's tutorial. And before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you're going to check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. It will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So first things first, First, you're going to want to make sure, of course, that you are logged in to your Shopify store. Next, what you're going to do is come over here to online store. And next, we're going to come over here to the bottom left hand side and we're going to select pages because we first need to actually add the order tracking page. Next, we're going to click this top right hand corner called add page. We're going to add a brand new page to our Shopify store and we're going to call this order tracking so we're gonna call this order tracking now you can name it anything that you want but you know just make it pretty clear order tracking is makes it pretty simple here next what you're going to do is you're going to come over to this website called 17 track I will have a link below in the video description uh, because this is where we're going to be getting the order tracking widget which is a free widget by 17 track and they actually have an HTML code that we're going to be copying and pasting onto the Shopify store I'm gonna be showing you exactly what that looks like of course once once we have it live. Now this is sort of their sample version. It will look a little bit different on your website uh, given the setup on Shopify. So this isn't exactly what it will look like, but this is sort of like a basic uh, overview of what the tracking uh, widget looks like. So essentially we're going to be copying and pasting this code here in just a second. Again, link will be down below in the video description to this tool page here uh, where you can also come and easily copy this code as well. Uh, of course, I'm going to be showing you what it looks like in this tutorial. And there are a couple different versions as well. I would really recommend probably mode one or mode two. I'll be showing you what both of them look like on your Shopify store as well, just so you get a good idea. Uh, the second version of this is more for if you have um, maybe B2B customers that, that maybe they place large lots of orders maybe uh, customers are placing multiple orders you could track up to 40 at once although it will take you over to the 17 track website on a separate page if you're doing the multiple uh, order tracking number version or you could just do the mode one which is this the single uh, mode three and four is a little bit more advanced if you have like extra products we're just going to stick to modes one and two in this tutorial here today we're going to start with mode one so let's go ahead and copy over that code so now that text has been copied to the clipboard and next what you're going to do over here on the Shopify store on the order tracking page is we are then going to click show HTML and this will convert it to the show HTML. And then you're just going to control V or copy and paste the code from the site. And then all we have to do is click this save button here at the top. And this will then add and create this page. Um, now by default, it will just leave it here with a blank and track and to see what this actually looks like on the store I'm gonna go ahead and open up the page we will also want to add this to the stores navigation so that customers can actually get to it because by default this page will just be buried in your Shopify store if you don't add an actual link to it on your store anywhere now what I would recommend too is you could also add some additional information here um, maybe like enter your code here to track your order or something like that just to make it clear uh, to your customers so you know you could hit enter here um, a couple times and say something like uh, enter your you know USPS maybe if you ship with USPS um, you could do UF, UPS as well now do keep in mind that 17 track actually does aggregate all the different types of postage companies so whether you're using FedEx UPS USPS any of any kind of tracking code the 17 track widget uh, will allow you to view that tracking no matter what type of third you know shipping or logistics company uh, that you use it will work here within this tracking uh, order tracking widget as well so do keep that in mind uh, so let's just say enter your tracking number or something like that so you, you know 
uh, above. So you could say something like that. You can also add a lot more text if you want it to be a little bit more descriptive. Uh, if we go here and refresh it, uh, it does sometimes take a moment for Shopify to update, uh, but something like that could work if you just wanna keep things simple. Um, now, what we are going to want to do as well is actually add this to the navigation. So we're gonna come over here to navigation, and what we're gonna do is we're going to go to main menu, and then as you can see here, we have the menu items and we're going to click at the bottom here called add menu item. And we are going to go here under pages and we have order tracking. You could also just search for order tracking here. Uh, and this is the order tracking. So we're gonna click add. And then this will add this page here to the header. We're gonna go ahead and actually delete this one because we don't really need that one there anymore. Just to save some space. And then you're gonna click save. And then when we refresh this here, uh, as you can see here, now it has refreshed with your tracking number above, as well as order tracking. Now you can make this page look a little more fancy if you want, maybe add an image or something too. Uh, but essentially really all you need is order tracking. Again, you can change the name if you want to as well. You don't have to leave as order tracking, but you have that code there for the single tracking number. Now, um, you know, depending on what you want to enter, let's just say we enter like one, two, three, obviously that's not a real tracking number, but if you click track, just to show you sort of what it would look like. It will load um, the 17 track widget, as you can see here. Um, and then it will, of course, this is not an accurate code, so it's not gonna find anything, but it will find like USPS, it will find all the different types, and it will provide the extra shipping details here directly on your own website. So if you're maybe creating customer service pages, you can just link people to your order tracking page. Now, customers could ultimately just go directly to UPS or USPS as well, but it is nice to have your own order tracking page on your Shopify store, hence why you're probably watching this tutorial. Now, so this is essentially the single version of the order tracking uh, widget implemented on your store. Once you've saved it, I would recommend adding it to your navigation. Once you've added it to your navigation, you're pretty much good to go. You can click home. Uh, customers can go order tracking. You could also link it from the footer too as well. I just have it linked in the, in the main menu currently. Um, so you could link it down here in the footer if you'd like to as well, just by going back to uh, navigation underneath online store navigation, uh, and you would just click on footer menu and it would be the same exact process as I had just showed you. Uh, on the main menu. So essentially that's how you add it to the navigation to make it easy for your customers to actually access. And you could you could link the store URL, uh, you know, to the order tracking page, you know, send it to people. Uh, if they maybe message you or reach out to your business directly, you can bring people to this page. Now, if you do wanna go with the second version of the uh, 17 track tracking widget, you're going to click on mode two, scroll down here and we're just gonna go to copy code. So we've copied the code successfully. Uh, for mode two, we're gonna go back to the pages. We're gonna go back to the order tracking page to edit it. We're gonna go back to show HTML and we're just going to actually replace uh, everything here. We're just gonna delete all the different HTML in here. Uh, so it should be nice and blank. And then we're just gonna control V and click save. So copy paste, control V, whatever it looks like on your computer and we have saved the page and we go here and refresh it. It will take a moment for it to update. So you can see if we go back to the show editor, um, the, the, the code is in here and save. We're just gonna go ahead and click save again. We go ahead and refresh this here. Maybe let's go to a different page and then go back to here. Okay, so here we go. So now the order tracking widget, this is the multiple numbers. So if you wanted to go with this version too, um, it does already kind of have like a big track button, which is nice if you prefer that. Uh, and customers can enter up to 40 numbers, uh, one per line here. So maybe if you did one, two, three, the one thing to keep in mind here, if they are going to be doing this, maybe they enter, they do like a multiple one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you can enter in up to 40 here. And then when you click track, um, okay. Yeah. It needs to be up to five characters. And so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, something like that. Um, okay, let's just get rid of these two and just go there. It will ultimately open it in a separate tab. So, you know, do keep that in mind here. Um, but essentially this is what it would look like. Um, obviously this one is expired as you can see here. This actually was a tracking code at some point, I guess. Um, and this is a tracking page. Um, that it will bring them to. Now, of course, if it's a tracking code, it will be in the native language. 
um, this is just like some random tracking code. I literally just entered this. Um, so it will open it onto the all other site on the 17 track site. If you want to go with the multiple version, just keep that in mind. If you are going to go with that version, it does, you know, open it in a new tab. So if you don't like that, maybe go with the mode one that I showed you already. Uh, mode one would keep it just native on your website and it will just populate the widget here with the extra tracking information. So you kind of have both options that you can go with, but essentially this is how you add an order tracking page to your Shopify store without needing to download any apps, no extra fees or paying for anything, no limits. You can do unlimited order tracking here on your Shopify store with this 17 track HTML and order tracking page on your Shopify store. Pretty easy to add. So I figured I would put together this tutorial here today. Pretty easy way to go. No, ex no extra apps needed. You just have to paste in the HTML code on your order tracking page. Again, you do have those two different options. Uh, again, links will be down below in the video description to the 17 track widget as well. So you can easily add it to your order tracking page and have that widget uh, on your Shopify store, which is pretty easy for customers to use. Uh, again, maybe it's not the most prettiest order tracking um, widget, but it does work. You know, you can go with either option. You know, if you prefer one or two, you can go with either option. Again, the code is linked down below in the video description. And again, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. I'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this tutorial helpful on how to create an order tracking page on your Shopify store, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.